As the economic hardship <coughs> in Nigeria bites harder, the federal government is striving to bring succor to citizens. In this regard, the federal government has inaugurated a 37-member tripartite committee on a minimum wage. At the inauguration, Vice President Kashim Shatima tasked members on timely resolution and submission of their reports as the current 30,000 naira minimum wage expires at the end of March. Meanwhile, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Joe Ajiro, has criticized the selection process. He stressed that most of the governors drafted as members of the committee are not paying the current minimum wage. Mm. <laughs> if the foundation is shaky, <laughs> what shall the righteous do? If mem members of the tripartite committee, mm. Mm, if they are they are accused of not paying the 30,000 minimum wage and you want to negotiate for increase in minimum wage and we are looking at maybe 120,000 or 200,000 perhaps for the minimum wage for the worker. It's going to be a tough one. And we, we must quickly realize that and be prepared for the consequences. Now, Yes, there is an agreement that every five years, wage must change. But that agreement must also be based on certain realities, certain parameters. And if we are not careful, mm. we are going to end up with a lot of industrial disputes. Especially in states. Mm -hmm. One of the states. That some of these governors defaulted on even 18,000. 18,000. They couldn't pay it. One of the states that the NLC president mentioned was Bono. Bono has been going through what it has been going through in the last 10, 12 years. When you look at what the governor is doing, as much as he's paying attention to civil servants, teachers, health workers, the critical ones, he's also, he also has his focus on those who are not civil servants, who have been displaced from their community. In fact, that is his focus. And that is taking a, a chunk. A, taking a chunk of off government. everything. And we are still looking at him as not paying the 30000 Imagine that he now has to pay 120000 You know, I've said it a couple of times on the program. What we should focus on as a country mm. is getting to strengthen the Naira. We are almost mm. now a dollar economy. People are no longer doing business in Naira. It pays them to do it in dollar. Naira is powerless. Sir. Because Naira is, it's even every day. Last week, somebody wanted to buy a property. They went and negotiated on a Friday or Saturday when dollar was about 1.3. By Monday, when they got back to the owner, he said he wasn't selling again. That dollar has, that when he changes his money into dollar, he won't get any. Why does he want to change his money? <laughs> because that, because that is what they are doing now with the, with the Naira. That's how bad it is. Mm. So we need to get yes, to a point in my own panic. estimation where we are able to strengthen what we have now. <coughs> so that when we increase, inflation does not finish everything. Mm. Because the moment you increase money for the civil servants, which they do need, no doubt about that, the private sector is going to call for increment. By the time you do that, goods and services will go up, skyrocket. Housing, transportation, mm. and all that. Quickly, looking at this, this is a law. Mm. It is sacrosanct. Yes. By March, the 30,000 era thing, you know, would have been outdated. Yeah. And looking for the law to, you know, upward review. So, just Dr. is saying that, no, they should strengthen the Naira. But this increase 
It's like a must. We must you know, increase it. Let's not forget that the, uh, the Buhari regime did not follow the constitution. Yeah. Jonathan increased minimum wage 2011. You took the president, President Buhari, up to 2019 before they were able to agree on a minimum wage, 30,000. So they didn't even follow the five-year minimum mm. waiting, you know, as stipulated in the law. A government-mandated minimum wage is expected to be um, obeyed by everybody, mm. every employer of labor, mm. because it stipulates the minimum mm. that you can pay to a worker within the borders of Nigeria. But we see states not paying and nothing happens. We see employers of labor not paying and nothing happens. So the question is, why is it in our laws that we must pay minimum wage or so, 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 so? If you can simply look away when people chose not to obey what the law says. I know that it will be a lot worse this time. And I can predict that this negotiation, the president wants the uh, um, tripartite committee oh, to, to speed up the negotiation. Actually. But I know it's not going to be easy because labor will dig in. Mm. Everyone can see that the economy is collapsing. Mm. Disposable income is shrinking badly. Mm. Very bad. So that will set the tone for the, uh, the discussions on minimum wage. I was doing some research, and I found that in 1970, our minimum wage was 18 naira. 18 naira was our minimum wage in, uh, in 1980. I mean, in uh, 1970. Then in the year, uh, let's, we went to 250, 250 naira per month in 1991. But in 1981, it was 125 naira. 1981. Mm -hmm. There was a strike at that time. It was a very, very difficult uh, time for the government. But in the end, they settled for 125 naira in 1981. Then 1991, 250 Naira. Year 2000, 5,500 Naira. 2011, 18,000. And then we had that one, 30,000. The point that I'm driving at is what Dotton said earlier. Our Naira has progressively declined. That's why you find that in, in 1970, just 18 Naira was minimum wage. In 1981, when uh, Baba Sumonu and others fought vigorously for a new minimum wage, it was 125 Naira. 125 Naira. Hmm. So these things we say to people, they will think we are, we are lying. Uh -huh. 40 years. But that's, that's, that, that was what it was. But, but and 1991, uh, 250. 250. Year 2000, 5,500. Mm. But the currency was strong in that's 1991. Right. Our currency was very strong in 1981. Well, stronger than of, the US. Uh, Bacha, it was the stronger dollar, than the US dollar. 22 Naira. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, the 22 Naira was the uh, official. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was the one that exchange rate. It was the official exchange rate. Mm. Uh, I think even at that time, people were exchanging for like 40, 40. Yes, not mm -hmm. up to 50. Uh, 40, mm. 40, 40 yeah. 44. But the exchange rate, the official window mm -hmm. was 22 Naira. Uh, uh, now, official the, window now. Official window now <laughs> is almost 1,500. Yeah. I think 1,400. 400. Close to. About one official window. Yes. Uh, no, one at a point, uh, <laughs> no, um, I mean, 
um, um, parallel market. Parallel market. Oh. At a point yesterday, it overtook the parallel yeah. market. One, one, three something. Which is unprecedented. It exchanged at the official window higher than the parallel market. That was what I found intriguing. Mm -hmm. I know that mm -hmm. something was given our country over this yeah. uh, Latin. The president will have to show himself strong. In Saudi Arabia, if you exchange currency in the black market, they will behead you. Mm. They will behead you. Mm. Everybody must go to the BDC. To the, the BDCs, the banks, mm. go and exchange. Mm. In our country, mm. black market, there is nowhere in the world that I know where the black market in foreign currency has been allowed to operate the way it is in Nigeria. Try South Africa. I gave that example yesterday. Mm. You cannot, you, you can't use it. Mm. If you have the dollar, you can't use it. Mm. Nobody will take it from you. They will think you want to set them off for arrest. Mm. They won't take it from you. Why are you you're spending the dollar anyhow? Even, people even, will steal our money. In some hotels. That's yes, what people will steal now. our money. No more they, they say okay, they will now convert it. No mm. more naira. Mm. You have to stop. The governors who, once they collect their allocation, they set aside 25%. Convert 25% to dollars. Something has to be done about them because I know this. It's they, not as if I'm. Like just, yeah, mm -hmm. You take. No, who, who, who are these? They are security votes. Nobody now. They allocate security votes to themselves. Nobody asks them questions. Mm. Whereas mm. in the past, have to go. do not mm. uh, worry, jail people mm. for spending security, security votes. votes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Today, you can spend it. You are not subject to audit. All right, we have to leave it there. That's one lot as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much.